All right. What is up, my friends? Welcome. Late night stream. Yes. Houses are expensive. Ah. Uh, oh, boy. Nicole and I have been working on the house the last few days. And uh, we had contractors come in today and landscapers. And oh, boy. And uh, we're just throwing money at it. We like took us about a day and a half to go from let's take apart the kitchen and clean everything and then repaint it to let's just burn it all down and buy a new kitchen, which is very expensive. Um, we're uh, we're still figuring everything out, but uh, we're seeing what we can do ourselves. Nicole and I were cleaning walls today, and we're gonna get ready to paint. We're gonna paint. We're gonna paint every room of the house. Uh, we're doing a lot. We're doing a lot, a lot of work, and um, snuck away here. Just had some dinner. Figured maybe I'd stream a little bit for y'all, relax a little bit for the rest of the night. Get back at it tomorrow. Who oh boy. Who oh boy. So, uh, Deacon resub, Roper and Gifton subs. Thanks everyone. I appreciate it. Should play a little modern. Um, I have two decks lined up. Hope we'll have time to get to both of them. And uh, I love these prowess decks. And Ryan Overturf has been working day and night on them to make them the best they can possibly be, which is awesome because I. Uh, I don't have time. I haven't had time to play it all. So I'll play Ryan Overturf's Prowess deck here. It is, of course, a Lurus deck because how can you play Constructed Magic without a companion these days, right? Huh? Who's going it alone, really? And uh, so playing Lurus, Mono Red Prowess, essentially splashing Lurus. Uh, a lot of the usual stuff here Soul Scar Mage, Sif Spear. Uh, I can't play Bedlam Reveler because of Lurus, so we're playing Abbot of Carol Keep instead. I do love this card, super awesome. Uh, Bobble was already, like, fringe playable in this deck anyway, and now, of course, it's Lurus, it's, it's insane. Light Up a Stage, Lava Spike, Lightning Bolt, Lava Dart, Crash Through, all the usual stuff here. Only real interesting uh, one is two Seal of Fire to help make Lurus good and win the Lurus Mirrors. And, um, it's basically it. Core Fireworkers, Path Exile, Abrade, Soul Guide Lantern. Just Ryan's list, he's, he's been crushing with it lately. And, um, we're gonna show up and play. And we'll try and squeeze into, uh, two leagues tonight if we can. No promises, though, we'll see how late it gets, and, uh... We have much to do tomorrow and every day thereafter. So lots of work to do in the house. Lots of work to do. We are painting. I didn't start painting yet. We are started cleaning rooms, and uh, I bought a, a drill, like a power drill, uh, you know, screwdriver thing, taking out all the, the nails in the walls and just getting over essentially 40 years of lived in this this house's experience and kind of cleaning it up, trying to make it look new. So. It's going to be great when it's done. We can't wait. It is very, very satisfying to be working on a house that is ours and not a house that is not ours. So that's awesome. Uh, Loris, I choose you. Who does my opponent choose? We're on the draw. They didn't choose anyone? They don't have a buddy? About to get no, never mind. They got a buddy. Who doesn't have a buddy these days, you know? Who goes it alone? Nobody. Um, vantage, vantage. Dart, dart, seal, bolt, crash through. No prowess creatures, kind of a tilt. Um, there are a lot of different Loris decks. It's hard to know which one they are. I don't think this deck this hand's, this hand's particularly great, though. We're just going to mulligan. I think I think having a one drop is really, really important. Or a prowess creature in general. I'm going to draw. I mean, Loris kind of denotes a fair deck. Although it could be burn, which would be difficult. Although we do have double vantage into spells. Just like double lava dart without without, without prowess creatures is pretty bad. I don't know. It's close. Maybe just keep it. I have to keep it. Let it ride. We'll keep our eight card hand here. Eight card hand. Mish's bobble of two Mish's bobbles. Hmm, I see. Also, want to try and get a little content on YouTube that's a little more up to date. YouTube has been a lot of um, your deck lives from like a month ago now. Like, there's no companions. Everyone's like, "What is? How old is this video?" You know. All right, so we're gonna bobble first, I guess. We could like crash through for a fetch. I'm gonna leave bolt up. Let's just see what they're playing to get a little info here. They reveal like Coligan's commands. So they're like a fair like Jundi deck. Which honestly isn't like a great matchup for us, but I think we're just gonna play Crash Through and say go. Abbot of Carol Key should be really good. 
light up a stage, that's fine. It's fine, not great. Yes, Zibby is Zibby is in. I think every video currently queued on YouTube. That's a, that's how old they are. So, rest in peace, buddy. It is very sad. Zibby had his own little corner picked out for the uh, the upstairs. Uh, the upstairs is like four bedrooms, master bedrooms, freaking awesome. And uh, there's a little landing up the stairs, for, you know, kind of leading into each bedroom. There's this nice little corner in front of the master bedroom, and uh, that was gonna be Zibby's corner. So sad. Miss our little buddy. Inspiring Vantage number three. All right, so they crack a bunch of bobbles. We've got a little card advantage here in light up stage. Lava Dart's like pretty unimpressive in a matchup like this. Uh, Inhuman says, got any advice for a first time buyer? How long you'd save up for our house? Congrats anyway. Um, I mean, you gotta have a, a decent down payment for sure, but just be ready for hell on earth basically. Once you have a really, really simple job and a lot of money uh, because I mean, I, most people aren't in my scenario of having a, the weird income that I do, but how many bits for a deck tech? I could do a deck tech after this leak, and it would be whatever the equivalent of uh, $10 is, the usual amount. So it's 10, it's 1,000 bits, I think. Rent is kind of a pain. Rent is kind of a pain. We could kill it, but that's pretty, pretty gross. Um... I don't really want to like lava dart light up a stage, but I don't really have a best. Uh, I don't have a a good path for that. Like, I guess we're. I guess we can do. I mean, I guess all of our spells cost one. I mean, if we get like double Abbot of Carol Keep, it's like the worst case scenario. And if they're just playing like Jun. I'm not sure how they actually gain life. They might have some uh, scavengers. I haven't played a ton honestly in the last few weeks, so I'm not really sure what's in these deck lists exactly. All right, we're going to dart and light up a stage. This feels kind of crappy, but we're not going to bother with Ren 6. Land spike, sure. You know, we might just take the, the burn the burn plan here. What's up, Doctor? Lots of work, lots of work. Lots of work on the house. We got a contractor coming today. He is the bomb. So for those who don't know, we had the house in South Carolina, and... Uh, Dude, Jared did so much work on the house for us. He was awesome. Just super easy to work with. Reasonably priced. Quick to respond. Just awesome. And, um... They're to cast their Lurus. I guess he has a Bobble. Sure. I mean, we're just going to kill the Lurus, so... Under the world. And, uh... We were just praying to find someone who's easy to work with up here. And the contractor came in today. Quoted us awesome prices on all... We got it. We're putting in two, two, two attic. We're widening the attic things. We're taking a door out. Uh, I'm putting a door on my office. Uh, got to work on a bathroom. Got to take a tub out of a bathroom. So tons of stuff to do. Um, and all his prices he quoted were awesome. He's our new Jared. So we're still on Eastern Long Island. We're actually we're I'm currently in my dad's house right now. Obviously I'm streaming my, my old setup, and uh, we're about about, about about a mile from here. So not exactly a big move, but all right. So we're just gonna Soul Scar, Lava Spike, and then Seal of Fire the Lurus. I prefer not to have to deal with this Ren 6. We'll see how we can do on that one. We might have to, but... but yes, it's all going good. It's a, a ton, 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 ton of work to do. But you know, we'll get there. Uh, we'll get there. It's going to be great. Yeah, having like a reliable contractor who's like... He he was like, you know, we're like, we want to put in um both attic access ways. There's two attics. One above, above the living room, one above the main part of the house, and the access way, like in the upstairs, is like a. It's about this big, in one of the bedroom closets. Like I crawled up there for the inspection, but it's realistically like not feasible to get up. And uh, we're gonna want to just install a big one in the main hallway, which requires like cutting into a beam and stuff and whatever. And he's like, "Yeah, it's like two hundred bucks." We're like, "Yeah, awesome." All right, so Thoughtseize taking Bolt is obviously kind of fine. They're at 11. I mean, we got like a little ways to go here, but... Um, did I see Gem Palms in Historic Anthology 3? I did not. Oh, I mean, it makes Mog Monday real easy. When's that come out? That's awesome. All right, so they're going to... Uh, they can ult this Ren 6 kind of soon, but it's kind of like whatever, I don't think. Wait, thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Um, we'll do your uh, deck tech after this league, right? Just remind me if I forget. 
All right, so draw a step. We played the mountain because it was off of the uh, the light up stage, so it was going away. So swift spear, but it would probably just die. They have seven cards in hand. Uh, I think Loris will be banned. The way we're playing Magic right now is not the way we're going to play, be playing Magic six months from now. How they do it, I'm not sure, but this is not sustainable. So, not exactly sure, but thanks for this guy. I appreciate that. All right, I'm going to cast Loris to play Bobble. It's going to die for sure, but we'll just get our card off of it. Sure. And then we'll hopefully try and like sneak in this Sift Spear for, some, a few, for a few points of damage. Historic Anthology is, uh, is it, is it fully spoiled yet? What we got here? If you want to see it, look away. Hondens, Tempered Steel, Ziggurat, Gem Palm, Gem Palm Polluter, cool. It's pretty sweet. All right, end step, crack their fetch, sure. Doctor says, saw your treat at Mark Rosewater. Feels like the wheels are finally turning at Watson to get some change in companions. I mean, it's still pretty early, like realistically, but for those that haven't seen it, I can show you my tweet. You guys sum things up really well, or pretty well, in uh, the context of a uh, tweet. I responded, Mark Rose wrote us from doing some like market research, and I said, companions feel like something that could have been fun to have defining standard for one or two years, but scale awfully when it comes to older formats. Tolerating them in standard, if you don't like them, feels fine if they will rotate. But right now, they are consuming everything. So Rosewater's doing some uh, some market research on Twitter. So, all right, bring back a land. Sure. I mean, now they can like ultimate and start bolt flashing at bolt, which is kind of kind of scary. On Earth, targeting Lurus. Ugh, that's bad. Like this card is just it just I just don't really understand how these cards even got out of of Watsi. Like, how do these cards like how do you come how do you come out Watsi with Lurus? Or Oko, or Once Upon a Time. You know, like, I just don't get it. Yeah, I would not be investing in modern right now. That's definitely a bad idea. I don't think we're going to have uh, enough to finish them off here. I think we're just super dead. They just have a, a maxed out hand. They got Lurus back. Lurus will gain them life. We have to, like, bolt, bolt here. That is not a bolt. That is not a bolt. Uh, we are super dead. Probably 10 ways till Sunday. Attack! The Nightish Power wants a deck tech, deck tech too. Sweet. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Fatal Push. Yeah, I mean, we just can't beat this Lurus. Right, I'm sure we can see all right, that's that's fun, I guess. I have been avoiding constructed uh, for like the last few weeks, just like playing limited, basically. But I figured I'd get some modern content in. Um, I think Mistress Bobble's gonna get banned. No, they're gonna alter companions in some way. How? I'm not exactly sure. But all right, so they're just like a a, a fair Jun deck. Uh, I would say we don't want Lava Dart. Let's say. I mean, I guess like. Maybe lanterns and pirate spell bomb. I guess. Yes, Raider for sure. Raider says the attractive part of modern, when I got back into, back into Magic a year ago, was that it was more stable format without a huge fluctuation of decks. With the modern meta changing so drastically every three months, it's taking out my desire to play the format. Absolutely. Uh, they just can't. The, the rate of things of things changing and being absurd is just not sustainable at all. They really gotta think things through a little bit here. All right, so not a great start for us, and then um, they got a pretty good. I mean, Renin Six is obviously pretty insane. Speaking of insane cards they printed, um, try and get a better draw here on the play. Also, with the creature maybe. These these job matches are always really really hard for Prowess because Prowess kind of needs its creatures to survive. So decks full of removal, uh, kind of just take him apart. You know, we're we're worse than burn if you can keep killing my creatures over and over again. You know, if our prowess creatures never hit, 
We're definitely worse than Burn. So. I have my solution to Companion on my YouTube. You can check that out. That video is pretty popular. Um, we're going to Soulscar first. Pretty good hand. Pretty good hand. Thunderwunk, absolutely. Yeah, if you look at look at the modern the top modern decks, like half the cards in each deck were printed in the last year and a half, which is absurd. You just can't use this. Can, this is not a sustainable way to to cure any game. I not just Bauer. I, I totally get what you're saying. It's been echoed, you know, like that these formats are more fun now because the more fair decks are reasonable. But it just. I just can't stand every deck having Lurus in it. Like, I just why does every deck have to be a Lurus sub game? I don't, I don't, you know, like I don't. Is that, is that fun? It doesn't really feel that fun to me. I don't know, you know, like so. I don't know. Um, it sucks because like, yeah, I didn't change it from the John and Jim show. My bad. Uh, it sucks because like I don't think Companion is necessarily like a terrible idea. Um, for a mechanic, it it's definitely kind of cool. The problem is it just like. It's just very difficult to implement properly. You can't make them too good. They're everywhere. And the problem is that, like, there only is so much... Wow, that hit? Holy cow. There's only so much design space. Um, you know, like, and if there's only ten companions and only five of them are good, then you just see the same ones over and over and over again. You know, if there were a hundred companions and they were all reasonably balanced and there weren't, like, there weren't, um, you know, some, like, really, really outlandish ones... Um, that's fine. That's cool. But like the game isn't really Magic's not really designed like that. You know, it's, it's like a it is such a big shift. If they cast Ren and Six here, we're just dead. What are they doing? They have mana floating. No, they don't. What's going on? Oh, brutality. Double escalate. That's pretty brutal. Uh, all right. I mean, our hand's pretty good, and they are at, they're at thirteen now, taking the bolt. All right. So we have to, like post combat light up a sage. Let's show up a burn spell here. Mistress Pablo. All right. What's up, Darth Clyde Frog? We're working on it. Lots of work to do. Lots of work to do. We're not currently. I mean, Nicole and I have been like sleeping there, so like we're we're like kind of living there, but like not completely yet. We're never we're not moved in, obviously. All this, all the stuff's still here, obviously. So, if there were 100 plus companions, it would be fun, but a different game, kinda. It's kind of the problem. It's like it's not necessarily a bad idea. It just doesn't really like work that well, you know. All right, so we're just gonna slam here, and then we'll we'll let up stage post combat, which is annoying. But yeah, that that collective brutality was pretty brutal. All right, so uh, yeah, is there a reason to bobble? I guess there's some value in looking at our top card for light up a stage. Not that we're not guessing light up a stage though, so eh. let's look at their stuff. I should wait. I pushed it on on their turn. Assassin's trophy, sure. Obviously, the post combat light up stage is a little annoying, but all right. So revealing Tarn Canyon. All right. So we just Tarn. Just get mountain and cast light up stage again. Any lands we hit are obviously pretty annoying, but seal of fire, metamorphose, sure. I'm pretty sure we cast a seal of fire now. I guess we could just hold it for prowess, maybe. This is there's no way this thing lives lives through a turn. Eh, whatever, let it rip, just cast it. Uh, we, so we drew off the bobble. I should, I should have bobbled on their turn because now they could like thought sees me or something. That was a mistake. And a little oopsie. A little oopsie whoopsie. Sup, opponent. Got some uh, some burn spells here. Got some Luruses lined up. We got a threat in play. 
cards on the horizon. Hoping for a nice fast leak here. Come on, bud. Actually, I am. My clock is lower. I've been yapping a lot. Companion this and companion that. Speaking of companions, want to know my thoughts on companions and cube drafts? Well, check out my article on CoolStuffInc.com today, where I go over my thoughts for Ikoria in cube. That's right. Check it out. My thoughts on what Ikoria brings to cube draft. Check it out. CoolStuffInc.com. Tarmagizzle. It's a 6-7. That is an absolutely monstrous Tarmogoyf. And a Nile Spellbomb. Okay. Sure. So, our challenge for this turn is to make our Suspir bigger than their Tarmogoyf. If we should choose to accept it. Which we will, by the way. Alright, Manamorphos. Just gonna go red red. Just gonna go red red. Could go like red white, but don't overcasting Lurus or not yet. Bandage. Bad hit. Alright. Uh not looking great here, honestly. Only have two cards in the bin. So we could just like cast we could cast Lurus. But let's play Abbot of Carol Keep. Another land. God, so many lands. Alright, um. So both the Tarn and the Canyon go away next turn, which is pretty unfortunate. Uh. Looks like we're just playing probably the Canyon. Plasma resub one year. Thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate it. Seriously, appreciate each and every sub a little bit more uh, in the last few days because the house oh, is expensive. You know, we we uh, considering doing some sort of like twenty four hour new house a thon kind of stream again and uh, to raise a little money for these projects we're working on because we were just like taking it all on at once. We're just like, yeah, just do the kitchen and we'll do the yard and we'll do the bathroom and we'll do like woo. So head is spinning a little bit. All right, what do you got, opponent? They, if they spell bomb me, they lose instant and artifact and creature. So the Goyf would shrink a lot. Explosives on one. What a jerk. And they're just going to say go. Interesting. Alright, untap. There are nine. We do have five points of burn so far. Crash through. Right, let's start there. Think of worse places to start. Teal Ron, thanks for the bits, appreciate it. Oh, Todd, you, you don't understand. We're like redoing this entire house. Like, we are painting every single room. Um, we are doing a few, god, so many lands, it's unreal. Uh, doing a, some other projects as well. We're like, we gotta put a door in my office, we gotta take two doors out, we gotta, we're inst enlarging the the attic entryways. We're doing like a lot of little things too. Yeah, we're doing a lot. Nicole and I are doing a lot of cleaning and a lot of painting over the next like week and a half. Um, If you cast Luris, they're just going to pop a spell bomb, probably. I guess then I could sack seal and cast it. So... Yeah, sure. So let's cast... I should probably just fetch a land first. Yeah, let's actually... I mean, we're stoked. Like, we're so excited to see the final, the finished, the finished product. It's very, very awesome to be working on a house that is ours, you know? Right, got a mountain, take some damages, play Luris. 
No, we're not in the new house yet, Lord Dragon. Chill. Still an empty, empty shelf behind me and stuff. Oh, yeah, yet, not yet. I know we're excited, but... All right, so they're going to just let this resolve. I'm excited. Um, I'm just going to cast this Soul Scar Mage, I guess. I guess we're not necessarily getting through his Tarmogoyf. We can shrink the Tarmogoyf, too, though. Yeah, sure. Oh, because it's empty. Oh, sure, yeah. No, nah, we, we might be moving the computer into, into a new house in the next few days. We have internet in the new house. Um, set that up. So... <sighs> Soul Scar Mage on the stack. Not exactly sure why they didn't pop this spell bomb or pop the explosives or whatever. Jump bomb in historic. Yes. Pan, thanks to Reset for that eight months. Thanks so much. Soul Scar Mage is still on the stack. And while we're waiting, let's dance. New house dance. New house dance. New house dance. New house dance, yeah. Do the new house dance. Got a new house. Yes, we do. Got a new house. Gotta paint the walls. Paint the floor. What? Paint the floor? Paint the ceiling. Paint the trim. Clean that bathroom. Clean the walls. Got a new house, y'all. Paint it all. Paint it all. Paint it all. What is going on? I, I don't know what they're doing. There was a time to pop explosives or spell bomb. I feel like it's passed already. You know? Paint the floor with our dance moves. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Remember, folks. Follow me on Twitter. Keep it updates. Who wants to see a video of Leonard? Who wants to see a video of Leonard? Raise your hand in chat. And the survey says, oh, that's a good one. I like that one. I don't have my book. Don't forget that. Remind me of it. All right. My, my book's the house. Oh, it resolved. Okay, let's go. Want to see a video? I'm ready to see a video of painting the floor. Yes. Everything but the floor. Oh, also, look, look what I found in the attic. It's an NES power pad thing. I just left a bunch of crap in the attic. And I can't have six. I have seal fire play. That's annoying. There we are. That's me. Leonard. Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. Assassin's Trophy, my Luris of the Dream Den. Uh, that is going to resolve. I will get a land. My last basic land. What else would they, would they want to do here? I guess we could have, like, bolted and seal, seal fired the Tarmogoyf here. Um... To, like shrink it because they have no cards in hand but let's get ready to show y'all Leonard so one thing about our house is that we are we are not alone we were not alone Zach, new sub. What's the name away from Mocha, my friend? While we're waiting for our opponent, who's taking an unbelievable amount of time. 
This is Leonard, the mouse. We caught him. No kill trap. There he is. You see him? That's no, a little glary. Get out of here, Leonard. Nicole's camera work here leaves something to be desired. But, uh... Come on, Leonard. He would not come out of a trap. He was not not interested in coming out of a trap. So I popped the back open momentarily. Focus. Video needs editing, you know? Don't release him in an open field. Yeah, we got that part. And... Pop. Oh! There he goes. Bye, Leonard. Don't you come back now. Yes, Leonard the Mouse. We've caught two Leonards already so far in our house and released them both. End step, Nile Spellbomb, targeting me. I have interest in... I guess I can't really deal with the Glyph. So once this... Right now, it's Artifact, Instant, Land, Sorcery, Planeswalker. So it's a 5-6. A we got to save a Seal Flyer for the the Lurus, I guess. Or the Bolt, if they pop the thing first. So this is just fine, I guess. Yes, Leonard the Mouse. That was Leonard the Mouse, who lived in our house. He no longer lives in our house. Now he lives in the woods, about a mile from our house. Lots of work to do. Lots of work to do in the house. All right, so they have no cards in hand. They drew off a spell bomb. They drew for turn, and they have lures. And explosives on one, which is kind of gross. The good news is that we uh we have a. Uh, Two canyons in place. That that assassin's trophy is pretty nice for us. All right, we're just on tap here. Soul guide lantern. It's cute. Um, okay. I guess we start on a canopy land. Definitely looking to go upstairs here, you know, so. And our Soul Scar range, not particularly great. Let's just play Soul Guy Lantern, I guess. We eat the Planeswalker. Train the Glyph down to a 4-5. could just like draw off the lantern and see what happens. I kind of like that, actually. I mean, we could, like, we could ditch their graveyard, but that'd still be a 2-3. That's like not even that good. Yeah, I'll just draw off. I just burn spells, I think. We're going to force the the explosive pop by attacking with the both, both one drops. So crash through is also not bad. Uh, okay, we size it up here. We size it up here. Let's crash through. Damn. Okay. Well, now our Abbot can attack, too. That's pretty nice. He's an actual mouse, yeah, he's like this big. Tiny little mouse. We have a bolt in our hand, too. Crikey. This once the enchantment dies, the glyph gets bigger again. But we can just like bolt them, honestly. They're gonna block there. I mean, we're gonna pass priority, obviously, because they're currently dead on board to so make them do something. 
Sure, so I got explosives on, whatever. We could just, just seal a fire at the Tarmogoyf, honestly. Um, it'll, it'll go to a 5-6, down to a 4-5, or a 3-4 again. And our thing will trample over it. We could save our bolt. We still need to have an answer for Lurus, so... Well, I guess they would just get to get it back anyway. Yeah, I don't want to guess. I don't want to guess the one drop. So let's just do this. Pet pet rats are awesome, for sure. They just pay, they just pee too much. All right. I guess we want this Abbot to live. Does it matter? I feel like I should have thought about this a little better. Whatever, we'll just trade, I guess. We, we have to we have to have a bolt for the Lurus, so we just can't win. So we can't leave Lurus in play. Definitely did not expect our first match to take forty five minutes. Uh, that's for sure. Man, Soul Scar Mage goes on the stack and literally time stops. What's up, Mage? Resolves. Go to seven off a of fetch land, sure. One card in hand. I mean, they can go Lurus plus Goyf here, but you can try and burn him out. It's not a new office, no. We have much work to do in the new house. We're not there yet. We have to repaint and clean, paint. Or clean, then paint the whole house. Whole house. Tarmagizzle. Their top card. Inquisition of Kozlik. Sure. Alright, it's a draw for Bobble. Draw for turn. Tilt. Uh, start here, I suppose. Red, red. Start here, I suppose. Red, red. Pyrite spell bomb. There's a draw with our canyon. Suspear, a late, sure. Um, Deal two. Attack them. And if you just bolt them, that's kind of a little aggressive, but sure. If you get a bolt of the, the Tarmogoyf, that might have been better, actually. We'd have two attackers to there, and they'd be at four. They have like scavenging use here, he could be in big trouble. We never draw in the discard spell. Yeah, I probably just bolted the glaive, that's probably bad. They drew collective brutality? What an animal! Alright. Two draws for the win here. That's how you buy. Oh, I don't kill my timing opponent. Come on. How am I supposed to have comedic timing if you can't just hit okay?
game. Blouses. That was only game two, wasn't it? Oh my god. This is the longest match of all time. Upstairs in chat, please. Um, Alright, so... That's all gonna stay where it was. It's fine. I don't think you want Path to Exile. We have Waste to Exile graveyards and stuff, and... I don't know. Just giving them more mana when they have Lurus over deck just feels kind of awful. Yeah, I should keep proactive, I think. Alright. The longest match of all time. Uh, sand is, like, not great, but we're going to keep it. It's got double canyon and two creatures. Uh, and Abbott's also very good, too, so... Wear and tear a better sideboard card than Path. They're pretty different cards. Nice. Do a little Goblin Guide impression here. Once again, folks, if you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. If you ever wanted to support me as a content creator, now is the time. Let me tell you. So hit that follow button, hit that uh, subscribe button on YouTube, and uh, let's do this. Shame, shame. Four month resub. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. Red in the pool. Green in the pool. Red and six in the pool. If I subscribe, will I get a haircut? I can't. Social distancing, my friends. This is my, uh, they have a Coligan's command on top. It's kind of gross. I'll do it. <laughs> Here, Nicole. She said, I'll do it. She's bluffing. She's, 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 she's also bluffing, by the way. Let me cut your hair. She likes I my hair. Not. You like my hair. I do. Yeah, exactly. And I have a line. You're I bluffing. Have cover, just like every other person. You're bluffing. All right. Um,. We could go Ren 6 here. Go Ren 6 here. Kind of sucks. We got to like waste the point of damage to kill it. Six cards in hand. What did they get back with the, the Bloodstained Mire? Hmm. I don't think we're killing the Ren and Six. Just gonna get him. Just gonna get him. Gotta get him. If Coligan's command in hand, kind of annoying, but they're twelve. They wanna keep fetching every turn. We're gonna do, you know. What's up, Raven? If you have a K command here, it's like kind of fine. They're just going to plus Ren and Six and say, oh, for no value. Wait, then they crack the fetch land? What? Equiven, one year resub. That's awesome. Thanks so much, my friend. I appreciate it. What are they doing? Makes sense. Doesn't even make sense. All right, we're going to have it here. Abbott and Costello. Light up the stage. That's mega awkward. Uh, I, mean, I definitely want to do that, I think. We're just going to attack them. Right as I can kill the Abbot, which kind of sucks, but just keep the cards flowing here. They're at 10. Play light up. Oops. Play light up the stage. Soul Scar, light up a stage, sure. Okay. 
Abbott is dead. We could have, like, not played Abbott that turn. He just, like, bolted the Goyf and done something else, maybe. Scavenging Ooze, that's a problem. Uh, we might be dead, folks. We played this match, like, pretty badly overall, I think. Too much time cleaning, not time playing magic, you know? Ain't bad. Let's start there. Soul Guide Lantern, not ideal, but could be worse. Uh, target. Instant, I guess. That's dumb. I have a bolt. I don't know. I'm trying to go fast here. Three, four, three, four. Um, yeah, but that was really stupid. I should target the, the artifact. Um, This is really awkward. Uh, light up stage is on light up stage. Why would I even do that? Huh. <sighs> well, we definitely ain't getting two leagues in the night, that's for sure. So we're going to bolt them, I think, yeah, and then get to cast Light of Stage again, which is like not the, I guess we could have just sacked the Soul Guide Lantern too, I, I don't even know, oh my god, what am I doing, I don't even know what I'm doing, Oh, go back into your stupid house, Jim, alright, whatever, idiot, That's, I sure, I, I alright, um, I guess we'll just eat my graveyard and kill the goyf. That's gross. It's each opponent's graveyard? Oh my god. There's some little lands that. Whatever. We need to do this too. Uh, I don't even know what my cards do. Alright. Sure. Your turn. They're at eight. Hopefully we'll still win this game. We do have a lot of lands, but they're all canyons, so. Oh, gross. Just grossly played uh, a few turns there. What are they doing? Just gonna cast Lurus and Goyf? Sure. Can't believe that, that Soul Gun Lander can't kill your own graveyard. It's weird. It's each opponent's graveyard rather than target player's graveyard. Didn't even know that. All right, play Luris, say go. And tap, we draw. Soul Guide Lantern again. We've got artifacts, artifacts, sorcery, 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 instant. Sure. We've got to kill this Luris. Our attack this turn should be pretty good. How many lands can we draw? Unreal. <sighs> Alright, I mean, now we're probably going to lose, but sure, I guess.
They don't currently have anything to lure us. They just have five cards in their hand. Oh, man. You don't want Relic because it's your graveyard, too, I would assume. Oh, they have explosives on one. Fantastic. Number seven? Yeah. I don't think we have any outs here. So I just get to double scavenging you soon. Just go to the next match. All right. Play that match like shit. But that's okay. That's okay. It's our first match of the deck, you know? A little rusty. A little rusty. Remember, folks, check out CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com. Number one source for your game shopping needs. CoolStuffInc.com. Promo code Jim5, 5% off your order, and you get a free Jim Davis Goblin token with your order when you use promo code Jim5, CoolStuffInc.com. You can also sell your cards to them online. They'll, like, Skype call with you and do an actual, like, dealer booth sale, which is, like, really, really cool. Check this out. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So check it out, too. CoolStuffInc.com. Also check out Colas Apparel. I'm wearing one of the shirts right now. It's very comfortable. Join the pile drivers. Join my join my uh join the pile drivers today. Promo code Jim 10 percent off your order. Colas Apparel dot shop. Colas Apparel dot shop. Do you need anything, darling? No. I need to not be bad at magic. That was your first match? Yeah, it took literally a hundred thousand years. Not what I thought I signed up for here playing this deck. I was gonna say, when you're opening hands or lava spike, lava spike, double light up the stage, you don't expect your Game still has very long. Yeah. Pun's not playing Companion. Good on you. They're playing Storm. Great. Alright. I mean, our hand's like fine. It's not amazing, but it's fine. Average Carol keep a little awkward. Don't really want to cast it on turn two. We probably will anyway. Not the new house. Not the new house. We have much to do, much cleaning and painting. We haven't we haven't like moved in yet. We've uh, been there basically every day, cleaning and painting and trying to get stuff ready. Yeah, my shelf which is empty. It's usually full. All right, so definitely uh, storm here, and our hands not particularly fast, which is kind of bad for us. Remand, sure. Are we dead? Uh, nope. No uh, no red mana up. Sure. Why crash through over Rift Bolt? This is a prowess deck, not a burn deck. Crash through is the net. Crash through is awesome. Alright, we are probably going to die next turn. Let's see if we can add it into a uh, a Bolt to kill this Electromancer or a Seal of Fire. Or crash through. Just talking about you, crash through. Alright, I mean, uh, I guess we're dead next turn. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously, one card down. One card down. Can't fathom not dying this turn. Peer through depths? Okay. They take serum visions? Alright. That could mean that maybe we have a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. What do they have goblins in a stork now at Gem Palm? Um it certainly helps, but it's no Aether Vial, you know? The problem is the deck lacks good one and two drops. They go bottom bottom on serum visions? Oh my god. A second Electromancer. Oh my god, we're, we're still alive. Although now killing Electromancer is kind of worthless, so... Can you believe we're still alive? Alright, give me Abbot of Carol Keep number two, please. Mishra's Bobble? Sure. Definitely want to draw one drops and not abbots in this matchup, uh, but 
Top card is Seer Visions, which isn't that bad for us because it can't draw them a card they want. It shows them a random card next turn. Uh, I kind of doubt they block. There's no point in killing only one of these. You want to kill both or nothing. So if I attack and they block one, I get to bolt the other. They just like, never block there, I don't think. So is Needle Drop better than Crash Through? No. I mean, Needle Drop is just like dead by itself. And then... Uh, giving things, giving prowess creatures trample is actually like huge game. Crash is a nut. Um, I just doubt they're gonna block. I'm gonna spike here. They might block. I don't know. Well, apparently not. All right, so, all right, don't kill me. I guess. Yeah, people definitely don't understand the, the raw power of Crash Through. Like, one mana draw card is like almost playable by itself. And giving all your 4-5 prowess creatures trample is awesome. Awesome. This is not a burn deck. This is not a lava spike, you lava spike, you lava spike, you lava spike, you deck. That went bottom, bottom for this vision. It's awesome. This is a play a prowess creature, make it a 5-6 on turn 2 and kill you deck. So, a little more reliant on creatures, much more explosive because of that. And a little grindier, too. Uh-oh. We're dead. All right. Well, that was fun. Oh, they have passing flames. All right. Well, I'm not sitting here for an hour and a half. Okay. Good old modern. And we got nothing for this matchup. We got nothing. Uh, I guess Soul Guy Lantern's fine. Um... Honestly, don't hate. I guess the core Firewalkers aren't bad. Um, means that uh, they can't really... Like, if they start to go off, it takes more to kill us kind of thing. It's not if that's even, like, good or not. Uh, I would say you definitely don't want Lava Dart or Soul Guide Lantern. Yeah, Dart can kill them faster, in theory. Um, we don't want Dart. I'm sorry, Dart or Light Up a Stage. Light Up a Stage is also really slow. So you want it like this? Maybe? It's kind of weird. I mean, taking out Lava Dart and Light Up a Stage, both those cards do work well together, and it does speed up our... Uh, it speeds up our, our Goldfish quite considerably. Um... We're on the play, too. Yeah, you know what? I don't think we want this. Or this. Let's maybe just cut, like, a couple darts for a couple lanterns and call it a day. I guess Steel Fire is actually really... Steel Fire is worse than Dart, I think. Actually, I'm sorry. Steel, steel kills the 2-2. Two, two. Um, but Dart's better for, like, big prowess stacks and light up stage. Let me do, like, this. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's like trim on the cards that aren't great. Getting things back with Lurus is not really a priority as matchup. I doubt we're ever casting Lurus. Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright, so we got a one drop and stuff we're keeping. Uh, Burns, pretty, pretty popular, yeah. From what I've seen in the, the Goldfish. Because I haven't played a ton of Modern, but what, what I've seen in the Goldfish... Like, you know, metagame breakdowns, whatever, it's been pretty popular. Alright. Soul Scar Mage, go get him. If Twiddle said draw a card, would it be as good as Metamorphose? It would be much better. <laughs> it's just a, it would be a free cantrip. For one mana to start, not not uh not two. Alright. Uh Serum Visions, sure. So next turn we have a we have a nice attack. Once you get a lantern in play too, it makes their kill much harder because they can't pass the flames, so that's kinda cool. Definitely like that. Okay. So we're casting a lot of spells this turn. I should get a mountain, I think. Oh, I should have uh, bobbled. I was stupid. I should have bobbled myself. That's okay. 
red, red. <clears throat> Draw, crash through, okay. Bobble, sure. Just look at our top card, I guess. It's a scalding turn, not cool. Um, we're not gonna die on turn two here. Should probably just like crash through and lava spike. Just get in the most damage possible and let them not know about lantern yet. So if they cast cantrips, they don't know, they don't know what they're playing against. And drawing tar next turn is kind of lame, but five ball ya. I don't know why I have an upkeep stop step. You think you want to do things there sometimes, you know? Just what I'm used to. Slide of hand, mountain, bolt, soul scar mage. So not ideal, but looks like Loris might actually come into play, come, come into play this game. So we could uh, we could just like play lantern and slow down, but if they're gonna turn three us while also having a piece of interaction. What was, their, what, was their, what was their serum visions? It was top bottom. Yeah, I'm just guessing Lurus here. If they if they have a turn three here and a bolt, so be it. On the play. Play bobble. And let's have a look at their job card. Remand. Probably not going off next turn for top cards remand, and they cast the bolt already. If they got it though, more power to them. What are you going to do, you know? That's what I'm used to, John. Want to do things there sometimes, you know? Are they mathing to see if they can kill me? That'd be pretty wild. Oh my god. Turn one Delver, turn two upkeep brainstorm is very, very rarely the correct play. Just a waste of a brainstorm. Second Electromancer? Okay. They still have a, 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 still have a remand in their hand also. Oh, <gasps> they fizzled. Cool. Like see that? Like see that? Alright. Um cast probably just soul scar mage soul guide lantern soul guide lantern honestly Now we can crack one end step. No attacks, but with two cards in end, one of it, one of which is remand, it's going to be pretty hard for them to go off. So and then next turn we get to crash through and kill stuff and do cool things. Draw a card. Have it a curl keep. Cool. Scorpion, new sub. What's the name away from welcome, my friend? Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Relic gets your own graveyard, which you don't want to do in your Lurus deck, I would assume. Sure. Um, just run that back, probably. That's pretty annoying. It's like the only card that remains good against in our entire deck, but sure, that's fine, I guess. Um, this will bobble. Let's 
I think it's free to use, right? Yeah, so. Play land. I think I would trade Luris for a Goblin Electromancer at this point. Let's just attack. I should crack this bobble too. Not doing anything? Wow. They have a third copy of Electromancer on top of their deck. Um, three, six, nine. Uh, could sh sure just bolt them. Yeah, I should have. I should have bobbled first to look. Crash through again. All right. I mean. We've got Tormod script in play effectively, and they need to kill us or die, and their hand is Electromancer. All right, they're going for it. Here they go. It is pretty difficult for them to go off without a large critical mass with a Tormod script effect in play. So. That helps, but. Gifts and given is neutered if you don't have a graveyard. News up is Brandon from Ohio. Are you a Melt fan? Melt? Every day Melt? Sorry to Dominaria. If you have a card, it's Hazard. Love the stream. Thanks, Brandon. Appreciate that. Thanks, Rapunzel. Appreciate that. A lot, a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. Look at all the crap we bought at Home Depot. We're just getting started. Look, it's me and Nicole working. A lot of work on the house. All right, so gifts I'm given for Metamorphos, Empty the War, and Seer Vision Slight Hand. So we're going to give them the Seer Visions of a Slight Hand. Uh, not give them the mana generator or the payoff. So they have two cantrips in their hand. They are at three. Um, we have two uh, some trampling stuff going on. So yeah, melt is insane. I love melt. Red, red floating. Four red floating. Play Spire Bluff Canal. Empty the Warrens for a bunch of tokens. I don't know if this is going to matter. Unless they, have a, unless they have a Grape Shot also, which would be insane. Just naturally draw a Grape Shot and empty. Alright, well... That's a bold move, sure. So many, many, many looks and eh, never mind. No, no, uh, no suspense here. Just draw the bolt and kill you. That's game. All right. So any interest in core Firewalker? Firewalker definitely makes the empty plan not nearly as good against us because. Uh, they we gain a bunch of life and then like it's harder to race us with the empties. Um, I think about the firewalkers. I think I would like to uh, bring in four firewalkers. We should have like an at like two abbots and a light up the stage. Maybe I should leave. We'll leave. Once light is gone, then darts really bad. Let's just take the darts out. We'll leave in three light up stage. Let's try this. Light up stage is worse. I mean, we have more two drops now, but 
let's try this. Not exactly sure what I want to be doing here, but very surprised they still had Reman Ember deck post board against the burn deck. Basically, in game, you know, on the draw, it's like pretty insane. Uh, got a Mulligan's hands, pretty awful. I mean, it's better. Ship the uh, probably the Abbot. Serum Visions. Now, the interesting question here is how much bobbling do we do, if any? I like to play the bobbles on turn two. And tag with Soul Scar Mage. They're pretty awesome. But need to need to make a second land drop, too. So we'll just like see what our our tower draw step is. They went top, bottom, and Serum Visions. Not too bad. We drew a canyon. Cool. So we'll just play uh, Soul Scar Mage and chill. Next turn is Firewalker Bobble Bobble. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's gonna empty for for six tokens. I, mean, I, I guess, sure. Probably better for our health overall to just fetch a duel here. Uh rather than play the canyon. We'll take two, we'll take less later. Alright, I mean, like... And I guess we're not gonna bother with Soul Scar Mage bobbling yet. I should've thought about this first. Oh, sorry, folks. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little fried from from uh, working in the house all day. Uh, yeah, whatever. We probably should've, like, bobbled first and seen what was up and left mana up and so on and so forth, but let's look at their top card. Spire Bluff Canal. Yeah, we'll just ship it. Our top card is Lava Spike. Sure. Where trade, where trade Soul Scar Mage for three tokens? Yeah, probably. Just cast it again with our Lurus regardless, so. They're taking it. Draw Spike, draw Abbott, sure, not too bad. I mean, they blew a lot of their load to, uh, to empty there, just burn two rituals, and they have three cards left. It's pretty bold, honestly. Like, definitely gain some life next turn. Take four on tap, sure. Spike, sure. We could ab it here. I might just want to spike and light up a stage. It's more consistent, I think. I guess not. She always ab it. Take one, gain one. I'm gonna basic mountain off this abbot here. <laughs> Spike ya, gain one. They're gonna crack their canopy land. Okay. Um, pretty sure we're just attacking. Like, could lead back Firewalker to block one of these tokens. I don't think we need to do that. All right. They jump block and go to nine. So we're at 12. They have four tokens in play, five cards in hand, only two lands in play. Obviously, we gain life off the Firewalker to start casting spells, so, like, I'm going to play an Electromancer. Sure. Uh, I think next turn's going to be very, very good for us. Let's try it. So now, 
wow, they're just getting in. This is why we want to draw Crash Through, because Crash Through is the nut. Think about how good Crash Through is right now. Literally all I want to draw is Crash Through. Not Soul Scar Mage, Crash Through. Alright, we're going to Lava Spike. We're going to Light Up Stage. Crash Through, please. Sispear Soul Scar Mage. Seen better, I guess, but sure. Alright. Um, we're playing both of them, I guess, but we're just going to attack first, so. They have to block. Or they risk death. Attacking with these goblins is just insane. Because, like, they really want to go into their turn with the Electromancer alive. And just obviously the block here. Are they going to block like this? Like a crazy person and go to one? What a maniac! What an insane, oh, nuts, so crazy person. I guess I should have played the, uh, Sister, maybe. They would, they, they, would, they would have blocked it for free, I guess, but. Alright, well. 12 with two blockers. Two uh two lands in play. We could definitely die here. I mean they have Electromancer, so A needle drop one time, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Connor, I appreciate it. I'm so pretty. I'm so pretty. Okay, interesting choice here. Uh, just saying go. I mean, like, I guess we just Lurus Bobble attack. I mean, Palpatine's Fist, I think trying to justify uh, color pie things from Alpha is probably not a good idea. Channel's not exactly a green card, and Rituals definitely look a lot better in red than they do in, uh, than they do in, uh, in black. Alright, so bolt that, sure. A million prowess triggers. Hit the bobble. They just can't stop the Firewalker, right? They have a bounce spell or something? Like, what are they trying to do here? What are you trying to pull, opponent? What are you trying to pull? Play Rogue Refiner Go. Yeah, basically. It's more like Boulder Drifter because you're just like drawing a card by just playing it. Sonic Blast, clearly a blue card. Oh, they're dead. We won. It's taking us an hour and a half if we've completed two matches. <laughs> Let's go. Jeez. Uh, Prince. Resub, 17 months. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Love y'all. Motown, one, two, three. A, B, C, it's easy as one, two, three. My buddy is Luris. Three, a dream den. No companion. Our opponent is friendless. All right, browse creature, hands great. Hollowed fountain. Untapped Aether Vial. Okay. And Chalice the Void on zero. Wow, what a jerk. What a jerk. It's better than Chalice on one, I guess. Uh, Alright, I mean, just like play the bobble as a prowess trigger, I guess. We obviously can't do anything with it, so. Maybe we just like hold it. For Nah, just do it now. Thank God it's a chalice on one. Can't beat that, so. Maybe we're folk? I don't I don't know what's going on over there. I'm just gonna do me, you know? Seachrome Ghost. Silvergill Adept, Silvergill Adept. Oh I have a lava dart. Any thoughts on lava dart? Alright. Um
Force of Negation, my Lava Dart. <laughs> Damn. That's a sweet earth. Alright, I guess. I mean, it's just like kind of a thing, I guess. Mm. Ponch Chalice is on zero because we're playing Lurus, so we obviously have four Mistress Bobble in our deck. Just like, you know, obvious that we have that, so. Alright, light up the stage. So, Spear Land, cool. Works for me. Honestly, it wasn't a bad force of our opponent. They pitched a Trickster. Wander Wine Hub. Spreading Seas. Don't they have a Merfolk in their hand? Why didn't they reveal? I said they, they don't need to. All right, whatever. Attack for two. You got it. I mean, Spreading Seas is like basically a stone rain against us, realistically. It's kind of annoying, but... All right. Play Vantage. Play Swiss Spear. Um... I mean, like, we could crash through, but I think I kind of want to just cast Light Up Stage again. Um, actually, you know, just green, just crash through, I guess. Yeah, just crash through. We draw a burn spell. We can, like, double double spell next turn with Light Up Stage, so. Nope, just another Lando. Merfolk Trickster. So they have a, a, a silver go in their hand also? Sure. Probably gonna need to draw some spells here, I'm not gonna lie. Just gonna toss that one out there. Can they kill my uh, my Lurus? Their Merfolk uh, shenanigans. They're at 12. Lava Spike. Okay. I mean, I guess. We're going to go 10, but attack for a lot. Prowess triggers. Mmm, spike ya. Get in for uh, a little bit here, a little bit. Good, like, Silvergill and Mermuda Vault and Block, which is, like, fine. Silvergill is basically the only good card in the entire Merfolk deck, so. So they have a, a lord here, we're just dead. It's kind of annoying, but... I didn't draw any targeted removal here except for my one Lava Dart, which they force of negation, so... Yeah, I mean, obviously pretty lame. Alright, that's fine, I guess. Um... Yeah, I mean, like, we just didn't really draw any bolts, so... Couldn't kill anything. Uh, Chalice is really bad for us. Like, we have a Braids post-board, but... Um, we play this game differently? I don't know. I don't think so. Alright, let's so bring in our, our braids, our shenanigans, I think it's our paths. And... I feel like this is like a, like a not a lava spike matchup. Cut the lava spikes, and... We cut some of the ones, maybe we cut like some crash throughs. Try and lessen the impact of Chalice a little bit. Seal Fire is too good to cut. Lava Dart was not in our graveyard. It was exiled by Force of Negation. Which is actually a pretty big game. Alright. This is fine. Let's try this. No companion for our opponent. Crazy person. And keep this. Sounds pretty good. 
Excuse me. Pony keeps seven. We keep eight. Monastery Swift Spear. Mishra's Bobble. We could try and, like, be cute with our fetch land with the bobble, but I'm pretty sure we want to just, like, cash it in now and have a spell for next turn. Alright. Coming in. What's up, Optimator? How's it going, my friend? Welcome, welcome. Draw Light Up Sage. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Wander Wine Hub. I do love the design of these lands, by the way. I think that lands that come into play untapped on turn one is like the most important thing in Magic. Like, having lands that do that is just awesome. And that's just like a really big game. It should be endeavoring to do that as much as humanly possible. So why would they keep a land, a, a, a no one drop hand? Why they have Chalice? Let's fetch. Metamorphose. I'll get a dart and light up a stage. Reveals. A uh, Mishra's Bobble. We're going off. Storm count, please. My storm count at. And their top card. Do I like burgers? Yeah, I like burgers. Nicole and I are, like, not comfortable getting takeout food. This is the whole coronavirus thing. And I, I've been hankering for a, a burger from our local sports bar. I've been kind of sad about it. All right, so they play Chalice, and they're just dead, which is awesome. So, a braid. I guess I could have Force here. That'd be annoying, but they don't. Highlighter time. Tag for two. So we have a uh, Abbott, Dart, Crash Through, Luris, and they have nothing in there at ten. Harbinger of the Tides. I'm gonna bounce my haste creature. You got it. You got it. Crash through, sure. Abbott Akira, I'll keep. Path to Exile. I don't really want to cast Path to Exile. I guess we can though, right? What are they at ten? Sounds awesome, Matthew. Alright, so what are they at? They're at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. I'll put a 3. Plus a lava dart, but I can just wait on that. There's no real rush. Just get in, put him a 6. We have 3 Crowless creatures in play and 2 Crash Throughs. This is why Crash Through is awesome. Alright. Trampling, Prowessy. Chuckleheads. Mr. Votto, resub. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. Cavern Souls on Merfolk. Master of the Pearl Trident. Sure. Optimator says 100 bits. Appreciate that. I want you to know I subscribe to two streamers and you're one of them. I adore Mog Monday. Mog Monday adores you, my friend. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. I, I appreciate everyone's support in this current time in my life. Extra, 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 because uh, houses are expensive. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, lightning Bolt. Yeah, you did. You did. Crash through. Crash through. So this beer, that's ordering to be a little better, but sure. Is that Finn Dorsal? Uh, things have been interesting so far. There are, are there mice in the house. Um, things don't work. The kitchen's kind of gross, but it's all awesome. It's gonna be great, and we're uh, we're working, we're work, working, we're all working it all through. Connor, man, you're a sub now. So is a. Uh, a moose, nothing loose, and Leovolt. Appreciate it. Trash about gaming. Thanks for following. Appreciate that. You're all great. I love y'all. I won. Cool. 
game. Take that, merfolk. We're not doing the new kitchen ourselves, no. Um, we're going to go to Lowe's tomorrow and get that priced out. We were going to just, like... The kitchen is not... It's just really, really old. The thing about the house is, it's really awesome. Um, it's a really cool house. It's really cool designs. There's a sunroom and a hot tub and a big living room and an awesome master bedroom and stuff. But it's just really old. It's just a 40-year-old house. It hasn't really been updated at all. So... Um, this hand's pretty bad. We do have a, we do have a shenanigans for Chalice, which is kind of great, and they mulliganed. Yeah, I'm gonna keep whatever. Um, so like, the, the kitchen is just kind of gross. Like the cabinets are like, you know when people uh, that's really annoying. When people uh, their cabinets are dirty, they put the, they put those liners down in the drawers. They just like put a liner down, and that got dirty. Put another liner on top of it. You know, like it's just kind of gross. So. Our plan was to completely um, upend the kitchen, just to take out all the drawers, wash them, paint the drawers, paint the insides of, of the cabinets, and just like really like give it like a deep, thorough clean. But now we're kind of like, eh, this is all really gross. Maybe we should just do a new kitchen. So we were planning on doing on redoing the kitchen in like a few years. Might just bite the bullet and do it now, honestly. Chalice number two. Just fine. We have shenanigans. We gotta draw land, but so just gotta find a land. Did it. Did it. Marty, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Aren't those liners gross? Like just freaking clean your clean your drawers, you know? Like why why don't you just clean the drawer? You just put a liner in to hide the muck under it? That's disgusting. You know, like Alright, so we're gonna shenanigans to chalice on one. We're not, we're not resurfacing the front of the cabinets. We're turning the insides. The front of the cabinets are fine, honestly. The goal is just to, like, take out the drawers, scrub them, and then paint them. Spreading seas, it's annoying, but whatever. So, we're not in the new house yet. No, was, uh, we're working on the new house. It's not really livable yet. You know, we're tearing stuff up and making a big mess. It's going to be awesome. Don't want to dredge shenanigans. I mean, it turns on my bobble, but not yet, I don't think. Let me just add it. Let me draw land. Sweet. Sis beer. Cool. Cool. That's the thing. Just like, there's so much stuff in the house just like, exudes laziness. Where like, you know, there's just like, they just like, painted over nails like there were just nails in the wall they were just literally just painted over it could have taken 10 seconds like i pulled like when we were when we were walking the house uh on our on the first walk through of the house i pulled one of the nails out that was painted over like just pull it out and then paint over it what do you, you know like why 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 would you just paint over it like all right uh so we can dredge shenanigans here i don't think we need to um just draw a braid sure so I think we're like Suspi or Seal Fire. We can just dart them too, honestly. I see. I see. We're we're down a man. Never mind. Oh my God, Vendor was a gift and subs. Thanks so much. Had a mouse problem. Get by the inspection. They cleaned before the inspection. You know, like maybe the mice weren't there at the time. Like, all right. Um. Okay. Yeah, I forgot the first one wasn't a red land. I wish I would change the box to, to a blue island, you know? Uh, okay. I think we're going to actually just abrade the... I'm going to just kill this, I guess. Let me, put, let me can't play the bobble, though. We could abrade the chalice and then bobble an attack. Or we could just kill this harbinger. I think I just kill the harbinger. Whatever. Sure. Force negation, my seal of fire. Okay. Sure. Um, I'm not going to trade my habits. Let's attack with this. We could have like played the bob bobble just, just for a trigger, but I think we're going to shenanigans next turn and kill the chalice on zero.
Master. 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 Master Pearl Trident is coming into play. Attacking for three. You got it, my friend. You do your thing. All right, you get in that red zone. You attack for three. Dread shenanigans. Light up stage. Shenanigans, Chalice. Cast Measures Bobble. Yes, Finn. You the bomb, Finn. Hype a chat for everyone. I'm just, uh... I can just crash through here. We're attacking for a lot this turn. No dredge. Bobble. Oh, we're going off! Oh, it's Raging Helix! Oh my god! Their top card is a Aether Vial. LOL. Alright, we'll attack for a casual 11 trample. You have thoughts on that opponent? Is that good enough for you? Ken, resub. Thanks so much. 22 months. Thanks so much. Alright, and uh, draw two cards off this. Nope. Nope. Ooh, next turn's a nice one. Next turn is a tasty one. Lord of Atlantis. The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. Are you dead yet? You're so dead. You're so dead. Uh, we gotta watch out for like a. I mean, where's there's that? Whatever. A braid. A Bradley. Game. Game. Blouses. Blouses. Two one. Let's go. Remember, folks. Cheers. Brought to you by bcbsupplies.com. Bcbsupplies. Number one source for all your game supply needs. Seriously, you're in quarantine, ain't, no, ain't got nothing better to do. Sort your collection. Buy some binders, buy some deck boxes, and some sleeves, and some storage boxes. BCWSupplies.com, they also have a card sorting tray. It's like 15 bucks, the promo code. It's awesome. Helps you sort immeasurably. Check it out, BCWSupplies.com. Promo code GM10, BCWSupplies.com. I'll show you our Cardboard Live. The overlay you see on the screen right now, that's Cardboard Live. Seriously, if you're a content creator, you cannot stream without Cardboard Live. End of story. Streaming without Cardboard Live is like watching TV in black and white. You can't do it. Check it out. Cardboard.live. Email James. Get in the beta. Later, Doctor. Loris, I choose you. I choo choo choose you. What's up, Sonic? By a hex holder, it's the same as a home, right? What? Uh, they're also playing Lurus. Surprise. We're going to keep this end. It's fine. Probably be a grindier game. We're on the draw with an Abbott. And if they're playing Burn, our hand's really good too, so we'll keep this. Oh, wow. Mish's Bobble. Who would have thought? Swamp Inquisition. Sure. I mean, there goes Abbott, but we got light up a stage and bolts. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Fortunately, uh, Hex Holder is no longer a sponsor of a stream. Um, I feel kind of bad for them, honestly. It's like they start up this cool company with this awesome product and products based around traveling to magic events and traveling outside. And the pandemic hits, and like, there's no reason to buy a travel bag because no one's traveling. So, hopefully, they're gonna they're gonna get through this. But um, it's already better not not sponsor a stream anymore, which is totally fine. I love those guys; they're great, and uh, it's still a great product. Definitely check it out. But uh, hopefully, they make it through the pandemic. It's uh, it's definitely tough out there for a lot of small businesses that are trying to get off the ground. Uh, that's not a bad draw. They took light up a stage too. Sure. Yeah, it's a cool product. You know, definitely people who got them on stream were like, "This product this is awesome." Like, I got it. It was awesome. One of one of you guys got like a, a personal letter from Charles, you know, from uh, for buying it over Christmas break and stuff. It's really cool. So maybe they can produce medical stuff in the interim. Uh, maybe 
Dark Slick Shores. Whoa. Inquisition. Alright. There's Abbot of Carol Keep, but got a few bullets in the chamber here, you know, not really what we're looking to do exactly. If they kill this Soul Scar Mage, we're probably in big trouble, but Mill? Uh would Mill play Luris? I mean every deck in modern is it's literally just like Luris Mill, Luris Burn, Luris Prowess, Luris John, Luris Field of the Dead. Yeah, it's some sort of weird mill deck, I guess. Jace's Phantasm. Uh huh. Your guess is as good as mine, folks. Luris Control, Luris Luris. <laughs> yeah, like. Oh, boy. Yeah. Constructed right now is kind of a disaster, but. Luris Tron, yeah, right? Over under of Luris, of them banning Luris in modern. They're going to do something. I don't know if they're going to ban it, or. Uh, I've got screws in my pocket. Those are important. That's from, the, that's from the door to the upstairs bedroom. Um, let's bobble them. Let's see what's up. Their top card is Fatal Push. That sucks. Opponent has 10 or more cards in the graveyard. I guess we're just going to kill this. I mean, they have Luris too, but ugh. Luris sucks. Do I think they, they're doing anything with Agent of Treachery and Standard? No. Like, they'll ban the Enablers. They're going to ban a 7 mana 2 3. Like, um. Uh, we got to save a bolt for Luris, unfortunately. Can't cast our own Luris. Luris, Luris, Luris. I guess we'll just attack. Let's see what they do. Yorian Elves, Blinking Shaman of the Pack. I mean, it seems a little cute. Doesn't seem like Yorian really helps out uh, tribal decks that are good at grinding. Let's draw. Abbott's not bad. They just drew Fatal Push, which kind of stinks a little bit, but... Watery Grave tapped... So obviously our, our Soul Scar Mage is going to die here, which kind of sucks. Yorian Allies, that's pretty wild. Essig Malcontents. Probably want to play, play Lurus and Humans instead, you know? Lava Spike. Alright, so we know that they have a, a push, they're just going to push my Soul Scar Mage. We'll just play Abbot here, I guess. We like have to hit a land for value, or Bobble, I guess. But... Like to have a creature in play, so. Alright, need a lava spike, it sucks. Alright. Goodbye, lava spike. So they're casting Luris. And they have a land they can go Phantasm, otherwise they're just bobbling, which is like not the best thing in the world, but. Wait, they had a land? They could have cast their Phantasm? It's weird. Alright, so they draw off their bobble. Scalding Tar. Now we draw the land. Alright, we'll just kill Luris. And I guess spike them. Well, but they targeted me with the bobble, so they're not trying to like pseudo scribe. They could have a kill spell here. We're just going for it, though. What else are we gonna do? They did a very good job not taking damage in their lands this game, which kind of sucks, but. 
We have Laris next turn. Which could be worse. Goodbye, Abbott, my friend. They're shocking. Some value. Bush number two. Okay. Bobble targeting me. Sure. Thanks, Mindy. I appreciate that. They have one card left, so their deck is weird. It's like they're more they're not really like a mill deck, they're more like just like a Delver deck. Just playing Jason's Phantasm. Ten cards isn't even that many. Up oh, there are mill deck, never mind. Uh, archive drive, sure. I guess so. We have the card they draw right now. We have a mountain for Lurus, and we can cast probably a Sispear. Oh, Sispear. Huh. All right. Food bag, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Now is a good time to sub. Let me tell you. Ah, oh, they just drew Ancestral Recall off of their card. That's pretty cool. Pretty sick. Just draw Ancestral Recall off your last card. That's a draw. Um, Alright. Play Souls Car Mage. There you go. I remember when Four Eyes was an insult. <laughs> Alright, Bolt's gone, sure. I mean, obviously, we, we want to go into our turn with Lurus still alive. Hedron Crab, sure. Mistress Bobble, sure. Alright, that wasn't that bad. Could be worse. They get two slow trips. Don't really do anything else. Uh... We've got a lava dart floating around. We, we could steal a fire off of our thing. Probably, I mean, we're going to Abbott for sure. Abbott's like the real good one. Sispear. That's pretty cool, too. Are you serious? Alright. That's really annoying. Well, things were fine until they drew a drama lock off their bottle. Sure. I guess. Alright. I mean, we're coming in. Josh from Kansas City. You have a card Mind of Matter. Your deck is Fruity Pebbles. You guys have a new house. Thanks, thanks, uh, Josh. I appreciate that. Uh, you or not? Resub. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. You all are great. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Only milled one lava dart so far. Kind of lame. Uh, pretty sure we hold on to it. So we can like. If they mill another dart, we can double dart the crab. Oh, I recall. That's cool. A tour of a new house. Um, stream subscribers got one. I posted it in the uh, the Discord. It's like an eight minute walkthrough video, but I don't want to. I don't post that publicly, really. You know, stream subs is one thing, but just putting it on YouTube where people call me an idiot all the time is not really super desirable. Ooh, we're getting the next core set. Mill in a Yorian metagame? That says pretty funny. I mean, they're playing, like, Jace's Phantasm and stuff. They aren't just, like, trying to literally mill you. They're using it for, like, synergy for that and Drama Lock and stuff. And the Visions of Beyond, but... Am I going to be running in these later hours in the regular? Uh, no. My stream is going to be very, very sporadic over the next, next month. We have so much work to do in the house. So... Every once in a while, you get a little treat. Although, Mod Monday will still be on most of the time. Sunbay Canyon. Lava Dart. Okay. I mean, like, Dart, Dart, Dart. is th That's lethal.
Drown in the lock to kill my creature. What a jerk. Flashback, Lava Dart. Attack. Um, we have another Lava Dart. Yes. Alright, you're at five. I could have put him to three there. It's a lot... Lava Dart. Maybe I should have, but... Play land. Okay, go. Cool. <laughs> Dart you. Lava Dart's basically Fire Blast. Basically. Um. Yay! Gay. Blouses. Alright, so... Mill. Deck. Uh. I don't even know if I change anything. Realistically. Like, I can't exile my own graveyard, so I can't turn off Drama Lock and stuff like that. I don't want Spell Bomb or Braid or Firewalker or Path. Yeah, we're just gonna run it back, I guess. Like... I mean, if they had drawn that recall uh, empty-handed, that game would have been close. So, seems like a fine matchup for us. They're probably going to have, like, Brutality, which kind of sucks, but you can, like, play around that, I guess. Just try and leave up a spell in response to a Brutality for Prowess. I wish you would just auto-chose your companion. Like, if you had one companion in your sideboard and you met the criteria, just pick it for me. I'm so terrified to, like, misclick it or hit it wrong or something. Alright, this hand is pretty grindy. Uh, we're gonna keep... It's a one-lander, but we have a bobble and a light-up stages, and we're on the draw, so... Ensnaring Bridge? I mean, they have, they're playing, like, the Phantasm and stuff, and we're, like, kind of a burn deck. I don't think they would want Ensnaring Bridge in their deck. Oh, they can't even play that, because they have, they have Lurse. Draw land must be nice. Why are you bringing in a braid against mill every time? Like they're not like a standard mill deck, you know. Like they're not. I don't know. If they're playing like glimpse the unthinkable and stuff. Like they're playing Jace's phantasm and more discard spells and kill spells. Like they're kind of like a a mill aggro deck kind of. Watery grave, nothing. What you watch? Sun Droplet? Well, I guess I'm an idiot. Should have brought in the old uh, braids. Oops. Uh, we do our damage in chunks, realistically, so. Sun Droplet is basically one life each turn, or two life a turn. Like one for each turn. Um, we can. Uh, Figure that one out. So, I'm just gonna hit them. So I'm gonna be cracking my fetch no matter what. They have a discard spell on top of their deck. Um, yeah, we'll just attack Light of Stage. I don't, think, I don't think they're playing Mesmeric Orb, so that's not really a concern. Revealing. Bolt, crash through. Okay. Drop Bolt also. Damn. Wouldn't mind a land, but we're kind of cranking it here, so... I suppose we didn't play around Brutality. Um, but if they had Brutality, they probably would have cast it on turn two instead of Sun Droplet. Maybe, maybe not. You want to get Droplet online as soon as possible. So. 
Let's play this card in draft. This card's pretty annoying. You always side for Sun Droplet. Always. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Alright, there's Brutality. So yeah, I mean, we could have, like, left up, like, Lava Dar or something like that, but I don't know. Getting Light Up Stage going is pretty important, so... Oh, that's so bad for us. They're shockings. They have a push, too. That's gross. And Seal of Fire. You want to cast these spells, so... Let's cast Crash Through. Bobble. Ugh. Play Bobble. Target them. Yes, we're attacking. They're going to push, we're going to bolt them and not feel very good about it. Oh my god. Yeah, obviously they have push. So, feels bad. I need some land drops here, honestly. It's kind of funny they've played like zero mill effects. We've already have nine cards in our graveyard. Two cards left. We have multiple answers for Lurus. Glimpse the Unthinkable. All right, sure. And we have exactly 20 cards in our bins. If they have the recall, I'm going to be sad. They pitched a recall to the Brutality, which is, like, probably bad news for us. But, I mean, Abbot of Carol Keep all day, let me tell you. Vantage, love it. Um, I guess we just seal a fire. Got a 15. So some job of basically just like returns your life total to whatever it was slowly. So us like not dealing damage for a turn or two, just gonna you know, like undo what the what they did, which kinda sucks, but kinda do our damage in chunks though, so like it's not as bad as it would be against like burn, I guess. Oh man. We got a lot of cleaning and painting to do tomorrow. Get those colors going. Our color scheme is awesome. Super bright colors. Who wants to see our color scheme for the house? The palette we're using. Not everything is set in stone yet, but there's Luris. Oh, nope, it's getting mad at me. It's sweet. Impulsive purple for the bedrooms. Uh, Capri blue for the hallways. It's going to be awesome. All right, they're casting Mish's Bobble. Fine. Untap, draw... Lava Spike. Okay, how about an Abbot of Carol Keep? Does it matter to paint store? Sure, I mean, 
Any advice? I don't really have any questions. Do you have any advice? You know, fire away. All right, place a spear. I mean, two lava darts in the bin. I mean, we have, we definitely have lethal next turn, which is kind of cool. They'll take three more counters of a droplet. Blah, blah, blah. I have a karaoke, but that's so cool. I just love this card. It's a super cool card. Hedron Crab. Okay. Crab people. Crab people. Fetch land, mill some cards. We've got 27 cards left. Find out who the local big contractors are. Ask to use their account, but pay cash. You should get up to the third. Like, what do you mean? Like, go to the contractor and ask them if they can. We can get the paint through them and then just pay them. That's a good idea. Um, they're just dead, right? We have like ten thousand burn spells. We have like a, we have more lava darts than mountains. Um. Fourteen one kill spell. I think we're just doing everything here. Just like dart hedron crab, flashback dart hedron crab, spike bolt. Just let it all rip. Tell the clerk it's what you're doing. Why do you gotta pay cash then? And like at Lowe's, I don't understand Vendor. So like, where where would I go to do this? Uh, they're just like obviously a thousand times dead on board here. So, also there's no trail. Okay, sure. Tell me more Vendor. So give me more more tips and tricks. Bolcha, Darcha, shove it all in the middle. Shove it. Take a hundred thousand guts to dirt negative thirteen. Nice sun droplet. Three and one. Let's go. Overkill. Have I done this before? Who me? Yeah, I guess the burn spell or two in my life. You know? One or two. One or two. Just a few. Have I painted a house? Yeah, so it's actually kind of funny because Nicole and I bought a house in South Carolina a few years ago. The intentions to move, it didn't work out, but we fixed up that house, did a lot of work on that house, ended up being like a practice house. I can I can put up drywall, I can spackle, I can paint. I couldn't do any of this shit like a few years ago. So we're, uh, because the contractor would be, would be built otherwise, it was the paint stores where all the local contractors have a count, so they don't have to carry cash every time. The workers can also order this way, and the body gets billed at the end of the month. In my case, it was Kelly Moore. That sounds like some uh, some sneaky stuff. I don't know if I have the gusto for that. You know? So, yeah, so I go into a local paint store and just be like, oh, I'm, I'm here for Bill's contractor. I need five buckets of Capri. You know? All right, so uh, last match. Let's go. No companion for our opponent. We are on the play, and we have a one lander with a crash through. Crash through. I want to keep. Just got to keep. I 
I mean, Finn, we're, we're actually working with a contractor. Like he, he came today. He's more of like a like a small like a small. He's not like a big company. He's just like just like a dude, you know. Um, would he have an account for paint? You think? I'd rather like go through him and just be like, hey, can you like can you get some paint for us and we'll pay you cash or whatever. Eldrazi Temple is bad for us. Uh, Chalice of the Void is our nightmare, and we can't beat it in game one, probably. So please, God, draw a land. That's not a land. Uh, crash through, draw a land. Did it. Did it? Alright, I mean, double souls card mage can definitely beat Chalice, so... We just cast all our spells. And, like, they don't get they don't resolve, but they still have a trigger, so... Sweet. Yeah, I'll talk to him then, because he's, he's awesome. He came today, and, like... We're like, yeah, how much to remove those doors and make it a wall? Because, like, the, the sunroom has sliding glass doors going in from the kitchen, and then two opening opening doors from the living room, like, on both sides. Just don't need those, you know? So we want to, like, take those doors out and put a wall up. He's like, yeah, 200 bucks. Like, we're like, yeah, sweet. All right, so Matter Shaper is a joke. Let's kill our opponent this turn. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, the, he's he's just gonna do the framing and then I, I'm gonna and the, and the sheetrock and I'm I'm gonna do the spackling and the painting. So, Mistress Booble, inspiring vantages on top. Um, that's awesome. I think we're actually gonna kill him this turn. Truth be told, I haven't done the math yet. Just like a tingle that I have. Good luck, rocks. Good luck. It is very stressful. Uh, RJ, that was me. <laughs> RJ says, My favorite child's moment was someone on SG Tour was playing Jessica Control into Serum Powder deck. And they were able to kill Eternal Scourge six times by targeting burn spells that were killed by Chalice. Yeah, that was me, RJ. <laughs> that was my match. I killed Eternal Scourge like, n like 95 times in one game. It was against me, against uh, Jonathan Jobs. All right, so uh, Spike, yeah. Also, you knew it was me, and you were just, like, joking around, but pretty fun. All right, uh, so take some damage. Kill this. Got to make sure it doesn't, doesn't flip over another Matter Shaper, I guess, but... This is 5, 10, 6, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have exactly lethal. As long as I had, I had a blocker here. It did not. It hit a batter skull. Just a casual turn three kill. Game. Louses. Nice. How good is Chalice in the metagame? It's good against us, that's for sure. Alright, so a brazen shenanigans. Um I think a path too. Eldrazi is a bad matchup for Burn, but I think we're different than Burn, because we kind of size up pretty well. But we're going to cut uh, definitely some of our ones. We're going to cut all the Lava Darts, which are very, very bad this matchup, and they're bad against Chalice. I want to cut things that are bad against Chalice. That's my goal. Uh, let's have a Seal Fire. It's pretty bad, too. Yeah, let her rip. Let's go. This silly opponent not playing companions. Unbelievable. Who are these people, you know? Why is Tron a bad matchup for Burn? Eldrazi Tron is a bad matchup for Burn. Because their deck is literally just Chalice of the Void and 4-4s four and 5-5s five that are cheap and, and Thought Seize You. Um, they, they also take no damage in their lands either. Regular Tron is not a bad matchup for Burn. I would say that Burn is probably favored in game 1 and then a dog in game 2 or 3 if, they're, if the opponent sideboards seriously. Blood and Mulligans to six. We're on the draw with a bobble hand. I'm going to keep. Normally one land hands are trap traps for burn, but again, we're not playing burn, so we have 
Bobble's a cantrip. We have Crash Through. We have Metamorphose and stuff, so... Lango. Probably getting chaliced. But we have a lot of suits in our hand, which is good, so... Bobble number two. I gave her three on turn one. Three? Do you have a dismember, 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 my friend? Okay. I mean, come and get you. Yo, we'll attack for three on turn one. We killed him turn three last game, right? That was pretty cool. Nice matter of shaper. So they play a Chalice on one here, and as long as you draw a land, it'll be fine. We'll see. A walking Ballista on one? That is much worse than a Chalice on one. <laughs> Let me tell you. Ugin the Ineffable on top of uh, their deck. Light up a Sage on top of our deck. It's not a land. We're drawing a lot of cards, though. It's a lot of cards. Bobbles go off. Light up stage. Metamorphose. Land, please. Land, land, land. God damn it. Alright, I mean, we attack. They're not gonna block, so we attack. Hopefully, we'll light up stage with a land. So, deal one, and just looking for lands here. We've seen a million cards so far. Path, Scalding Tarn. Uh, okay. Uh, we're gonna say go. Not really interested in pathing anything with us, the large Eldrazi. So, I guess that makes Thought Not Seer not that bad this turn. I guess we'll pat the Ballista. I mean, like... Ballista does kill Abbots, so... I guess... We do have Metamorphose for Lurus. Actually, I need White. Never mind, I'm being stupid. I don't know what I'm talking about. don't like giving them another land here, but... We'll see. Them saying go means they probably had a Thought Not Seer, but they were scared to play it and didn't have much else going on either. You know they have an Ugin in their hand, an Ugin the Ineffable, which they will be able to cast sooner rather than later. Another non-land? Jeez. Um, let's just Metamorphose and see what happens. We'll make a land drop here pretty badly. We can bolt and light up a stage, but I want to get Abbott in play before I do that. We draw Braid. It's really awkward. Um, I'm going to Metamorphose again. We just got to make a land drop. I don't want to cast Abbott and hit a one drop and I'm not able to cast it, so... Mistress Bobble? All right. Play Mistress Bobble. Just going to go to the full 20 with the Swift Spear here. Look at our top card. It is a Soul Scar Mage. So we don't really want to cast uh, Abbott. So we're just going to bolt them and light up a stage. This is a pretty insane uh, Sith Spear. But Sith Spear is brolic. We're working out. Look at this. Six, seven Sith Spear. Tarmogoyf, eat your heart out. Land Soul Scar Mage. Okay. Go get him, buddy. That's a hit. 
That is a hit. A hit and a half. It looks like they have Ugin as a companion. Ugin's probably a pretty good companion to have, honestly. Truth be told. Scavenger Grounds, sure. Alright, what's the big finish here? Batter Skull. Oh, this game wasn't close. Okay. Uh... You're dead. So, 4 and 1. Not too shabby. We lost uh, to a Lurus Grindy deck, which is trouble. That's, that's, uh, that's a pretty good run. And uh, we can play better than that first match, too. I was a little, a little, wasn't really warmed up yet. Um, Ryan Overturf is your source for this deck, and the list seems really, really good. Uh, the main deck seems honestly perfect. Cyborg, I'm not completely convinced on Soul Guide Lantern being the best graveyard hate card, but it's definitely good. One Spell Bomb's kind of cute. Um, yeah, deck's great. If you like burning people, this is how you do it. Simple as that. Overturf is the prowess master. So, um, basically it. Hopefully uh, you all enjoyed this, enjoy this YouTube, folks. I'm trying to sneak in a, a, a fresher video here and there. I know the uh, content's a little stale at the moment. It's a lot of older archive videos while we go through this uh, transition and stuff like that. But um, I love you all, YouTube, please, folks. Please like, comment, subscribe. And uh, take this time to go back and go watch some old Mog Mondays. You know, watch some, uh, some of the older videos on there. Just a lot of fun stuff on the YouTube. So, love you all. Thanks for watching YouTube. Appreciate it.